Uh, my friend, the visually impaired guy, is here with me. Uh, Chief, we are on air now. Good evening. How is the Kwafo Hall? Oh, the Kwafo Hall is doing, we are, we are doing great. I think I've completed, uh, but I'm still around. I'm still around. <laughs> okay. It, it was a delight when you sent me the photographs of your encounter with the, the Vice President, al Haji yeah, Muhammad I was, I, was, I, was, I was just privileged. I, let, let's see the photographs, viewers, and let's, uh, let, 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 let uh, yeah. So that's... I was just privileged. Privilege. When did uh, you meet with him? Okay, I think... Uh, uh, it was on the 14th of August where I happened to meet him in uh, uh, the campaign office near Alisa Hotel. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I was very, very honored. Cause is that where this, these pictures photographs were taken? Yes, This yes, looks yes. like he's taken in his home. No, no, this is the campaign office. Uh, I see. Please go around the photographs. Is that all we have? There are, I think there are a few more photographs. Uh oh. Okay, we don't have them. All right, let's get back into the studio. Uh, Please, t tell me, how did you know? Because you, yeah, this is one of the photographs. Uh, thank you very much. That's uh, Dr. Baumia and our friend here. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so tell me, how did you know that um, Adai Nimo, for instance, will be in the last five? Before then, though, we have to watch the interview. Uh, okay. We have to watch the interview. So uh, he had spoken with us, as, as you heard uh, Kuku telling me. He had spoken with us, and uh, I, had, I had spoken with him here in a, like, an interview where he's reported to have made certain predictions that have actually turned out to be correct. Let's have a look at the video now. The super delegate, it's obvious that uh, the vice president is likely to emerge victorious. Likely to? Who's going to be second? Uh, second, for the, for the super delegate, it will be difficult for me to predict who is going to be second. Uh, but it will be between Mr. John Alan Chermatin, born on 3rd October 1955, and then Honorable Kennedy, Akumpre Japan. But for the main Congress, I believe Ken is far ahead of uh, Alan. So how did you know that Adai Nimo will be part of the five? Yes, because uh, uh, even in 2014, mm -hmm. when they did it on 31st August, it was a Sunday, my so day, 2014, he was, he, was, he was among the first five. And at that time, he has come new. Nobody, I mean, didn't, nobody gave him a chance that he would make the first five. So if somebody who just came in at that time got to the first five and even when the two withdrew uh, it, with him and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and Alan in some constituency, a few constituencies, he was able to even garner more vote more than uh, Mr. Alan Chermatin. Such a person, you could not, you could not underestimate him when he is coming again. Mm. So how also did you know that Kennedy Japan will come second and not Alan Chermatin? Yes, I knew because Honorable Kennedy uh, Japan if, if he has come early, it will have been a close contest between him and uh, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. But Honorable Kenny Japon got to second because some of the supporters of Alan were somehow despondent and they thought that no, Kennedy will be the right man. To, I mean, will be the right man to challenge uh, the vice president. And he came in, he came in very late, but he took vote from both sides, both Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. And Alan Chemate. And you know, in, in my part of the world, politics of perception war, well, he's been seen as being frank, he's very honest. That's what people perceive him to be. He's very frank, he's very honest, very kind. And he has a relationship with people at the top and both and, and at the down too. Mm. And politics relationship work a lot. So the relationship that he has built for years was the one that worked for him. People that he has helped people that he, he, he has gotten in contact with. And you could not underestimate it. And he is a man to watch in the upcoming November elections. Okay, so that's what I was, that was my last question. So right now, what do you think is going to happen in November? Uh, in, in, in the MPP elections, it has always been two horse races. This is the first time we have had three roads. You remember in 1992, it was between Professor Edubuahi and uh, Kwame Safodu. Then in 1996, until the Rosemary Kwam issues. It was a straight contest between Edu Wain and uh, Mr. Kwame Pienim. Until the Rosemary Kwam uh, issues. Mm. Then it became between uh, Professor Edu Wain and Mr. Uh, John Eje Then in 1998, October 10th, Sunyani, it was between uh, Mr. Kufo and Nana Dudanko Kufuado. Then 207, it, it has become between Nana Dudanko Kufuado and Alan Chematin. I think this is going to be a, a two horse race between. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, the Vice President and the Asin Central Member of Parliament, Honorable 
Kennedy at Japan. So if you were advising Alan Chomati, you would have told him that it's over? No, no, I would not. He should, he should, he should. Uh, my advice to him is to change his communication team because some of his communicators, that speak for him. When they speak, some of them, when they speak, he lose 2,000 votes. <laughs> One of them, too, when he speak, he <laughs> lose 5,000 votes. <laughs> if somebody like Yabu Abiyasa wants to speak for Alan, Alan loses 2,000 votes. What do somebody you have against like, Yabu Abiyasa? I don't have anything against him, but he has a bad communication skills. That's a fact. Yeah, but Abiyan Samoa has yes. bad communication skills. Yes, he has a bad communication. He doesn't communicate well. Look at uh, Saturday. I was listening to an interview with him and uh, MFR Pao of Joy FM. Mm -hmm. And how he was talking, how he was angry. No, this was just, this is not just even an election. It, this, this is uh, to select five people to go for the main election. And, and an incident that happened at the Northeast region. And how he was reacting, how he was saying, I did not believe Alan these are the people that are going to communicate for him. Then I'm sorry. Because look, look at somebody like Hosina Doe making wild allegations against the city chief of staff that he was sharing $5 million without giving any shred of evidence. And he said this on air. If these people are going to communicate for Alan, then I'm sorry. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this is very interesting. Okay, so if Alan changes his communication team, yeah, he, then, he, may, then, he may get a better yeah, Because in, in 2007, he was having a good community. People like John Kuma, my, 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 somebody I've heard from, him. I think he's now a, a reverend minister now, Mr. Michael Ampo, uh, Steve, Steve Amwa, they, they were not that bad. Even in 2010, when, so, but I think Nano Hininto should rather do the communication for him because Nano Hininto is a very good communicator. He's, you know, if you're a communicator, you should be appealing. But the people that are communicating for Alan, they are rather taking vote away from Alan. <laughs> wow. I, I didn't say it to oh, viewers. I, don't, I didn't say it. It's uh, my historian who said it. So should Dr. Baumia's supporters be confident that he will win the contest? They shouldn't be complacent. They should rather work hard because uh, the target they set, if they have set 70 or 75% uh, target, they, they, they didn't get it. So they should rather work harder. They should work harder and harder because if they joke and they are so complacent and they think all is well, before they realize, they will get the Akukufu, but they will not get the silver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what's, what's your last word here? Uh, on my my on last word is that uh, MPP, whether they like it or not, they will go to the election and only one will win, two will not win. But after winning... You need to unite. There should be a unity. And I think they must, I mean, uh, the executive of the party must sit all the aspirants down and calm them down. Because I think this even uh, 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 special delegate conference, there was too much tension. I think tension should, uh, I think things should be down. They should calm them down. Because if, whether Mahmoud Baumia or Alan or whoever win, it's an MPP member. So after winning, you all have to, I mean, rally behind the person. And, and let me also tell the aspirants who want to underestimate uh, the, the current president. Whether you like it or not, whether he has performed or not performed, you will still need the president's blessings. You will still need him to campaign for you if you have won, if you have become a flag bearer of the party. So don't sit there and, I mean, threaten the president or say things that will be derogatory to the president. If you want to occupy the seat, that he is occupying now. You should respect him. 